Welcome. In this video, I want to share a tip that I use for rechargeable batteries. So I just got these rechargeable batteries the other day. They're the Amazon Basics high capacity batteries. They think they're 2400 milliamp hours here. So I'll put a link in the description to the batteries and the stuff I'm going to talk about here in the video. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So on the right side here, I have my charger. And this is a lacrosse charger. So this is a BC700. I'll put a link in the description to the BC1000, which is a newer version of this. And the first thing is, I would recommend using a charger like this, either this charger or there's similar other models. These chargers will recharge each battery individually as opposed to charging them in pairs. So if you have an older battery and a newer battery, you can charge those together in a pair. But that brings up the next thing is, I think it's a good idea to keep batteries in pairs. So what I do typically is I'll write something on it with permanent marker. This is kind of worn off. This is over 10 years old. These are two. Now here's another thing I did is I used a label maker on these. So I put the date on here that I got the batteries and then you see an H here. So let me get all of these showing here. So on these I actually lettered them. So I did A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You see the letters here are in pairs. So these two batteries have hung out together their whole life and these two have also hung out. So the reason you want to do that is, say you have this pair is uh, in a high drain device and this is a low drain device and these batteries are, have gotten worn out over the years, but these haven't, you really don't want to switch them so they're mixed up like this. You want to keep the battery lives similar between the pair. So there's a couple options here. I could do A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. I could say one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, or I could even just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'll know that one, two go together, and three, four go together, five, six go together, seven, eight go together. So there's, there's a number of different options, and you can see I do have the dates on these. I did not put them on here. The date's less important as long as you're keeping them in pairs. They're gonna wear out whenever they wear out. It doesn't really matter when the date is. These I do have a record on Amazon of when these were purchased. So I'll probably just number these. I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four on these. So, so that's just a quick tip there to get the best life out of your batteries. That way, if you have a pair go bad, you can discard that pair, but you can keep the other ones. And this charger also has like a recondition mode on it and things like that. So there's lots of features on these kind of chargers. Um, you know, so if the batteries are older and you want to get a little more life out of them, you can stick them in here, do the refresh, and it should give you a little more life. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.